Hey guys, good morning. I got uh, a couple of things that I uh, am working on on my uh, 61 Volkswagen Beetle. Um, remember to uh, subscribe or like or share uh, if you can help me get to a thousand subscribers. Um, what I'm trying to do today, there's two things. Number one is um, this latch here. You can see there's nothing sticking out to hold it. Um, and it holds from this little springy thing. And uh, I have my, um, I have my, my cable here. So put in place here, so the cable's there. So what I'm trying to do is make it, uh, make the latch uh, hold down the, uh, the, the, the hood. So there's that. And then the second thing that I'm trying to do is see if if I undo these two uh, bolts here, if I can slide the entire gear shifter back this way and get the um, so that that's neutral. It's coming up literally right under the ashtray switch, uh, the front of that. I'm just trying to see if I can move that back back so that it's uh, more reachable. So let's start with this. Um, I believe what I have to do here, I take my uh, 10 millimeter and uh, I've just got to see if I can get this little latch um, sticking out. So. So you can see what happens is when you when you pull this guy over, you can see it goes first it goes out, that's what'll hold it, and then it goes back when you pull it. So you so you need the um, resting you need it to rest at this spot and then pull. So let's see if I can get that to be the case. needs a when it's at rest you want it to have this thing sticking out a little bit, which it seems to be. So I'm gonna tighten this down and let's see if it works. See if it latches. It does latch. Now let's see if it opens. And it does open. Okay, so it latches. I can't open it. And then and it opens all right that's great so now the only last thing I have to do is to reattach this guy Okay, let's try this one more time. So, get to listen for the click. That is not coming up. 
Now let's try the, the mechanism here. Watch this. Popped open and perfect. It's funny, it doesn't seem to like it when I slam it, but if I press it, it clicks into place. So that's good enough for me. Now, next thing I'm gonna try is moving the shifter knob. As I said, I just want it to come back a little bit and I think that's a 13 millimeter. So I'll just take my 13 millimeter here and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna undo this these two here I say painted with this in place so it might be a little bit stuck. this is gonna slide at all but look at that it does seem to slide just like I read about and uh, I'm gonna retighten this down so if you look it slid about that far and now the neutral position which used to be directly under this it's about two inches further back so let me tighten this down and hopefully the shifting still works exactly. Just move that back and uh, now my, my neutral position, if I look at it from the side, it literally moved it back about this far. So that'll be a little bit more reachable. So I like that. Okay, so two things uh, taken care of. And if I do that, there's no way I can get that open by jiggling it, so that's good. Now I, I do have the issue that this is a little elevated, but uh, it is touching the rubber, so I don't think water's gonna get in. Also on this side, you know, you can see that this doesn't actually, that doesn't actually touch the rubber down there. So on this side, it's a little closer, but you know, the fit is questionable. Here's the only place where the fit looks any good, but you know, <laughs> it's probably assembling parts from all kinds of different years and uh, I don't, I just don't know the history behind this 1961 body that I bought, but it just doesn't seem to fit 100%, but I'm happy generally with how this works. Look at that, the rear view mirror inside, which is, uh, I took a scotch bright and a um, piece of sandpaper to get off all the, uh, the weird chrome uh, bumps so, okay, that's a good progress now for the two things I was looking to do.